Hey, what's up, everybody, man? Welcome to The Den Show. I'm your host, Ed Hodge. If you're not familiar with The Den, we're discussing everyday news, discussing everyday nonsense, um, just whatever's going on in the world. So I came across this story about a young lady named Kiawana Moore uh, from Baton Rouge. She's 25. And somehow she ended up homeless in Thailand. And this story kind of went viral. It was on World Star. I've seen the other couple of people talking about it. But the reason why this story is really so crazy is not because of the reason she went viral. It's because <laughs> after ending up homeless and people reaching out to help and assist with this situation, it's the way that this young lady responded. We talk about people being ungrateful all the time around here, uh, especially the younger generation. And this just goes to show that people generally take people's kindness for weakness. So I'm going to give you a little bit of the story. So we're going to get into Kiawana Moore, who is the young lady here on the right. Okay, uh, I believe that's her girlfriend, but apparently she was out in Thailand with her as well. So let me just kind of let you see, hear it from the words of Kiawana, how she ended up homeless. And then we'll dive into what the real problem in the situation is and why sometimes when people are in certain situations, we want to have remorse and we want to feel sorry for people. But maybe sometimes they're in that situation because they deserve to be in that situation. So check this out. The world wants to know, how did I end up homeless in Thailand? The world wants to know, what was my thought process? Why did not plan? Why did not plan this out? Why did not come with enough money? And y'all ask myself the same thing: What could I have done better to get a different outcome? How could I have? What could I have done to cause less suffering on myself? Then I think to myself, is this actually suffering? What is the definition of suffering? So let me tell y'all how I ended up homeless in Thailand. Why the videos made Patia News. Why my story made World Star. Back in May of 2023, a great friend of mine. So this is kind of the introduction. There's a little bit of a follow-up to the story. I'm gonna let you hear that, and then we'll kind of get into the meat and potatoes of what's really going on. So I mean, she even says it herself that she wonders why she didn't plan better. But then somehow she convinces herself to cope with her situation that it's not really struggling. It's some kind of philosophical journey that she's on all of a sudden, uh, which again makes absolutely no sense. But let me let you hear the rest of the video. And then I'm gonna show you why people are truly upset about this situation. It went from caring and remorse to people kind of maybe not feeling so favorable about this young lady and her decisions. Check it out. This is how I survived in Thailand with only $7. After living in a small village for almost five months, not making any income, I was running out of money. I was down to my last $50. On January 22nd, I decided to take a risk spending my last $50 on a bus ticket from Chiang Mai to Bangkok, then from Bangkok to Pattaya. That left me with only $7 to my name. I didn't know what to do. I was worried, but I kept my faith and trusted that God would make a way. After making it to Pattaya, I met with a local expat. I told him my story and he decided to book me a hotel and things started to get better at this point. So these are clips from her TikTok. Uh, she has various social medias, Instagram. I don't believe she's posting in about a year. Um, and I guess that someone saw this story and just kind of pushed and went viral. Uh, definitely poor planning, definitely a, a lack of thinking ahead. Right. And nobody can fault you for that. Sometimes you're in a bad situation. You just you just need a change. Right. You just you feel like your walls are caving in. You just want to get out and do something different. Cool. Understood. Now, you know that you're in a detrimental situation that's not beneficial to you. Right. You, you've pondered the suffering. You've coped with it and, and changed it into some other, uh, like I said, philosophical journey. But this is the thing that is that has people upset. Right. This is the this next video I'm going to show you is the thing that really has people frustrated because what happened is apparently a family took her in to give her a place to stay uh, and then, you know, for a little bit, help her get on her feet. And then when she did not want to pay rent, well, this is what took place. BW destroyed hair salon after she was told to pay rent or leave by the owner of building here in Thailand. I call fucking police. You don't fucking run away. I let call every fucking thing. I don't want 
เดินเข้าไปไปไปไปไปเดินเข้าไปมีหลักฐานทั้งทั้งในกล้องวงจรปิดก็มีก็เพราะว่ามันได้ผมที่เล็กน้อยแล้วฉันรู้ว่าคุณพูดว่าทำไมคุณรู้ว่าเขาทำนั้นถ้าคุณดูให้ดีๆและฉันจะกลับมาในวิดีโอนี้ถ้าคุณดูให้ดีๆคุณจะเห็นว่าเขาทำนั้นในช่วงแรกของวิดีโอนี้และเขาพูดเรื่องราวที่แตกต่างกันและฉันจะแสดงให้คุณเห็นว่าเขาทำนั้นในช่วงแรกของวิดีโอนี้และเขาพูดเรื่องราวที่แตกต่างกันและฉันจะแสดงให้คุณเห็นว่าเขาทำนั้นในช่วงแรกของวิดีโอนี้และเขาพูดเรื่องราวที่แตกต่างกันและฉันจะแสดงให้คุณเห็นว่าเขาทำนั้นในช่วงแรกของวิดีโอนี้และเขาพูดเรื่องราวที่แตกต่างกันและฉันจะแสดงให้คุณเห็นว่าเขาทำนั้นในช่วงแรกของวิดีโอนี้และเขาพูดเรื่องราวที่แตกต่างกันและฉันจะแสดงให้คุณเห็นว่าเขาทำนั้นในช่วงแรกของวิดีโอนี้และเขาพูดเรื่องราวที่แตกต่างกันและฉันจะแสดงให้คุณเห็นว่าเขาทำนั้นในช่วงแรกของวิดีโอนี้และเขาพูดเรื่องรา
We owe Thai police uh, 120,000 baht, which is about $3,303.80 USD to pay for the damage. They broke our camera, took all of our belongings, and we have nothing. They have also taken our passports, and now we can't leave the country until the debt is paid. Now, y'all probably wonder what happened to them. Nothing. Nothing at all. We're going to keep moving forward and leaning on God for guidance in this time. It's a must we get out of this country by any means necessary. Our deadline is March 29, 2024, and I'd like to follow up on that to find out what happened. Um, what's good, family? March 21st, 1 a.m., and uh, my fiance and I were brutally attacked by six individuals we had to fight for. Um, there's an update. On March 25th, we went to the hospital. This is four days later after the incident. I do not have any broken bones or fractures. But in the in the article, and I'm actually just noticing this because I only read it once. I didn't pay that much attention the first time I read it. Uh, my arm is broken, right? You said that on the, the 24th you're, that your arm was broken. This is the, the 26th that she made the update. On the 25th, she went to the hospital. It cost us 10000 by $275 to get x-rays. We also went to the U.S. Embassy on behalf of our passports. They were illegal, taken away from us. We are in the process of getting a lawyer to fight our case. I appreciate all the donations and endless support. Now, I saw her have a thing for about $3,000. Uh, last I checked on this thing, it was about 200 and maybe... 50 bucks somewhere around there of support again to me this sounds like a person who is not accountable for their actions it sounds like a person who is dealing with some things and it's understood that the stress of life can definitely take a toll on you mentally um but it seems like this person made bad decisions jumped out and made even more bad decisions and when it came to facing uh the consequences for your actions now somehow it's trying to put it on the people who had attempted to help uh, I would definitely like to hear the side of those people who were filming because I feel like they would tell you something completely different as opposed to what Kiana experiencing Kia is saying. Um, like I said, you just if you look at her pages and you look at kind of different things, you can tell that she's dealing with a lot, a lot of transformation. Seems like a young lady trying to find herself and needs to really accept some responsibility for her actions. But again, this is permanent. This is prevalent and. Uh, a lot of these types, especially here in America, and you know, going abroad with that American mentality is not going to benefit you. It's not going to make life better for you. You're still going to be in a similar situation. So this was a message from a woman who is uh, black that also lives in Thailand, kind of making a statement on this. So this is an American black woman that now lives in Thailand. Uh, says, look, people, don't be coming to Thailand with all that bullshit. These Thai people gave her a place to live and a job because she was homeless in Thailand. But she refused to pay rent for the room. So they asked her to leave and put her stuff outside. But she comes back and starts tearing the place up. This disrespectful behavior I don't condone in any country, but especially here. I'm disgusted and embarrassed, shaking my head. So it's better that it's coming from a black woman because usually, you know, if a black man says anything about black women, y'all get all feisty and mad and, you know, all that. This is a black woman saying it. So therefore, don't argue with me. Go argue with her. Go argue with your mama. Um, but again, this is what I felt. This is what I figured it had to be that somebody looked out for you, gave you an opportunity, gave you a chance to get on your feet, earn something. If you want to live in this country, live as these people do. You know, what happens? You thought that you would go to Thailand, you know, the money exchange, you know, you get a little bit more for your buck, a little bit more Bangkok for your buck. <laughs> I'm corny and I love it. Um, you get a little bit more bang for your buck, and you thought that you were going to be able to go over there and live like a queen or a king. I don't know what her preferences are. Um, I don't know her pronouns. And um, this is what you get. This is what you get. This is ungrateful. This is another ungrateful BW uh, cause of the situation. Caused an international disturbance at this point. Y'all do it at the salons here, but now y'all going to their country and fucking shit up. But did y'all see what was going on in that salon? Did y'all, so fellas, did you see what I see? If you saw what I saw, just drop a, <laughs> if you got this far, drop a, drop a looking eyes emoji in the chat if you saw what I saw. And we'll see if we're on the same page. But with that being said, it's your boy at Honcho, man. Hey, make sure you're following in on all the proper social medias. Didn't show live on Instagram, uh, X. TikTok, all that shit. Make sure you follow TikTok, but definitely go start doing some new things on that. Um, make sure you're following if you want my personal stuff, Ed Honcho HTX on Instagram, X, um, Honcho HTX on Twitter. Go to the Den Show shop. You want to get some Den Show merch. You want to support the channel, Honcho ENT on Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App, or you can support uh, via the Super Chats or becoming a member of the channel. I'm going to start dropping a lot more recorders. I know we've usually been doing the, the stream thing. We'll definitely keep doing that. 
but definitely want to start dropping a lot more recorded thoughts for the people so I get my thoughts out clearly and concisely because y'all know when I be in the chat I be acting up so with that being said I appreciate you for watching if you got this far if you didn't well you don't even know I'm talking about your punk ass <laughs> with that being said again as always it's my honor my privilege and more than anything my pleasure to get to have this conversation with you y'all be cool like y'all be cool until next time I'm out